Imagine a continent so vast, so ancient, that it stretched across the Indian and Pacific Oceans, touching lands we now know as Africa, Madagascar, and parts of India. But this wasn't any ordinary landmass. It was Lemuria, a place where beings of unimaginable wisdom and power were said to have lived. They were called the Lemurians, and they weren't human, at least not in the way we understand it today. According to legends and mystical accounts, they were giants, towering figures with not two but three eyes, four arms, and lifespans that spanned over a thousand years. They didn't eat food as we do, nor did they communicate with mere words. Their way of life, their very existence, was so extraordinary that some believe they weren't from Earth at all, but beings from the stars. Welcome, celestial seekers. If you're captivated by mysteries like these, you're in the right place. We're here to uncover forgotten realms, ancient secrets, and cosmic wonders. One story at a time. Back to Lemuria. The Lemurians are said to have lived in harmony with nature and had a deep spiritual connection to the cosmos. Their third eye, centered on their forehead, symbolized a form of heightened consciousness, allowing them to see into hidden realms, communicate telepathically, and even foresee events yet to unfold. It was a civilization where technology wasn't mechanical but spiritual. Their knowledge didn't come from laboratories, but from an intuitive connection with the universe. Imagine a world where entire communities could lift objects with the power of their minds, communicate without words, and travel great distances without ever setting foot on the ground. Their society was built on the understanding of energies and forces we're only beginning to explore in modern times. And yet, all this knowledge, all these advancements, vanished without a trace, leaving only whispers of a lost world beneath the waves. Could Lemuria have been a cradle of human evolution? A place where we learned from beings far more advanced than ourselves? Or was it a civilization of beings from beyond, here to guide humanity in its early steps? Share your thoughts in the comments. Do you think Lemuria was real? Or is it simply a symbol of what we might strive to be? Who exactly were the Lemurians, and what made them so different from us? Imagine beings who towered four to five meters tall, moving gracefully with four arms instead of two. They were not just larger in size, they were believed to be far more advanced in both mind and spirit. According to ancient legends, these beings lived in a way that went beyond our current understanding of human life. With their four arms, they could accomplish complex tasks and interact with their surroundings in a way that might seem almost magical to us. One of their most fascinating traits was their third eye, a physical feature placed right on their forehead. This third eye wasn't just for seeing in the traditional sense. It's said to have been a powerful tool that allowed them to access hidden knowledge, perceive realms beyond our physical world, and even communicate without speaking. They could understand each other's thoughts, emotions, and intentions instantly using telepathy. Imagine living in a world where people don't need words to share ideas and feelings, a society built on pure understanding and direct communication. But their uniqueness didn't stop there. Lemurians were said to lack digestive systems as we know them. They didn't need to eat food in the way we do. Instead, they absorbed natural energies from their surroundings to sustain themselves. Some accounts suggest they drew energy from the Earth, the Sun, and perhaps even from cosmic sources far beyond. This meant they lived in harmony with nature, relying on the world's energies rather than consuming physical resources. Imagine a life where survival doesn't mean competing for food, but connecting with nature and taking only what's freely available. Lemurian legends also say they had abilities we might describe as supernatural. Besides telepathy, they could supposedly levitate, lift objects without touching them, and even see events before they happened. These skills, as strange as they may sound, were reportedly a natural part of life for them. Their society was built on these abilities, creating a culture that was both peaceful and deeply connected to the universe. As we try to picture the Lemurians, it's tempting to wonder, were they really from Earth? Or could they have been visitors from another world, sharing their wisdom and knowledge with early humanity? Were they ancestors to us, or an entirely different kind of being? And most importantly, if they existed, what might they teach us about the potential of the human mind and body? 
Let's imagine Lemuria as it might have been, a sprawling continent filled with wonders, where knowledge, spirituality, and harmony ruled. The Lemurians are said to have built cities that stretched across vast regions, from Africa to the Indian Ocean, linking lands that now seem distant and isolated. But unlike today's world, Lemuria wasn't driven by industry or commerce. Instead, its foundations were rooted in a deep respect for nature and a profound understanding of the universe. Lemurian society was reportedly advanced in ways we can barely imagine. They constructed vast temples and structures from unique materials, perhaps stones that resonated with the Earth's energies. These weren't ordinary stones. They were said to have been selected and placed with purpose, designed to channel energy and harmonize with the planet. Their architecture may have even included towering pillars and domes that aligned with celestial bodies. These buildings weren't just places of worship or gathering. They served as centers for spiritual knowledge, healing, and connection with the cosmos. The Lemurians were known not only for their buildings, but for their remarkable understanding of natural and cosmic energies. They observed the stars, aligned their structures with planets, and tracked the movements of the heavens. It's said they could predict cosmic events and harness the energy around them, using it to strengthen their society. Their knowledge of the cosmos might have gone beyond simple observation. Some stories hint they even had contact with beings from other worlds. Imagine a civilization that not only looked to the stars for inspiration, but possibly communicated with advanced intelligences from other realms. Many believe Lemurian wisdom was passed down in secret after their continent disappeared. According to ancient spiritual traditions, this knowledge didn't vanish entirely. Instead, it was preserved by mystics, hidden in sacred symbols, and woven into practices that continue to this day. Some say traces of Lemurian teachings can still be found in ancient texts, hidden messages, and symbols around the world, waiting to be rediscovered. So, could Lemuria have been the source of knowledge that inspired later civilizations? If this legendary place really existed, did its people share their secrets with early cultures across the globe, leaving behind echoes of their wisdom? Could it be that fragments of Lemuria's teachings are still influencing us today, subtly shaping our understanding of the world and the universe? Imagine two advanced civilizations, both powerful and mysterious, Lemuria and Atlantis. They each had unique ways of living, different values, and entirely opposite philosophies. Lemuria, as legend has it, was a society deeply connected to nature and spiritual knowledge. The Lemurians lived peacefully, focusing on inner growth, harmony, and understanding the energies of the Earth and cosmos. For them, wisdom and balance were everything. Then there was Atlantis, a civilization often described as highly advanced in technology and science. The Atlanteans were explorers, creators and conquerors. While the Lemurians embraced a way of life that honored nature, the Atlanteans sought to master it, bending it to their will. They constantly pushed the boundaries, experimenting with powerful technologies and developing tools that allowed them to reshape their environment. Their focus was on material progress and control, aiming to make their mark on the physical world. Over time, these two societies grew wary of each other. The Lemurians saw the rapid advances in Atlantean technology as dangerous, fearing it could disrupt the balance of life and harm the planet. They believed in protecting the Earth and respecting its energies, while the Atlanteans, in their drive for progress, became more focused on power and dominance. According to some stories, Atlantis became eager to unlock the secrets of Lemurian wisdom, hoping to use their spiritual knowledge to further enhance their technological capabilities. But the Lemurians refused. They feared that sharing their knowledge would lead to disaster if used irresponsibly. This growing tension eventually led to a conflict, a battle of philosophies that would have enormous consequences. Some legends suggest that the conflict between Lemuria and Atlantis wasn't just a struggle for power but a clash of ideals, spirituality versus technology, balance versus dominance. The stories tell of a catastrophic war that erupted between the two, a cosmic struggle that shook the very foundation of the planet. In the end, this conflict led to the downfall of both civilizations. It's said that a massive cataclysm struck, causing Lemuria to sink beneath the Indian and Pacific Oceans and Atlantis to fall in the Atlantic. 
Whether this was a natural disaster, an effect of their own destructive technologies, or even a punishment from the cosmos is unclear, but the result was the same. Two great civilizations disappeared, leaving only myths and whispers of their existence. Could this be a warning for us today? A reminder of what happens when progress and power overtake harmony and wisdom? Were Lemuria and Atlantis real places with real people, or are they symbolic tales of humanity's struggle between spirituality and materialism? Let's hear your thoughts. What do you think truly happened to these lost worlds? Could there really be evidence of Lemuria hidden beneath the oceans? Although many believe Lemuria is purely a legend, some intriguing clues keep this mystery alive. Across the Indian Ocean and along the coastlines of India, Madagascar and Indonesia, strange underwater structures have been found, puzzling scientists and sparking questions. These underwater sites show signs of old foundations and formations that appear unnatural, ruins that some believe could be remnants of an ancient civilization, perhaps even Lemuria itself. In Madagascar and surrounding islands, unusual artifacts have been unearthed, adding to the mystery tools, carvings, and strange symbols that don't match known indigenous cultures have been found. These items seem out of place, suggesting they may have come from an older, if unknown civilization with a completely different style and purpose. Some researchers argue that these artifacts could be from a culture lost to time, potentially tied to Lemurian myths. Though skeptics attribute these discoveries to natural geological formations, Others believe they may be relics of Lemurian technology, small, hidden pieces of a much larger story. What's even more curious are the symbols and spiritual teachings in various cultures that seem to echo Lemurian beliefs. In places like India, Southeast Asia, and even the Americas, ancient texts and symbols speak of beings who came from the sea, advanced knowledge of the stars, and wisdom about Earth's energies. Could these symbols be remnants of Lemurian influence, fragments of their culture that survived even after their homeland disappeared? Esoteric and mystical traditions add another layer to the mystery. Some ancient spiritual practices, often passed down in secrecy, speak of a lost civilization that held deep knowledge of Earth's energy and cosmic connections. Many believe that this knowledge was preserved by wise teachers and mystics who traveled to other lands after Lemuria's fall hiding their teachings in symbols, sacred texts, and rituals. This could explain why similar symbols appear in ancient cultures that were supposedly never in contact with each other. Could the Lemurian wisdom have been preserved in these traditions, passed down through generations, and hidden in plain sight? The mystery doesn't end there. Certain unique structures found worldwide, like the pyramids in Egypt, ancient temples in South America, and megaliths in Asia share architectural styles and alignments with celestial bodies that seem too coincidental. Some suggest these civilizations might have inherited Lemurian knowledge, guiding them in constructing buildings aligned with planets, stars, and Earth's natural energies. Could these monuments be more than historical wonders? Perhaps they are silent witnesses, standing as testaments to an ancient world that may have once spanned continents. Let us know what you think. Is Lemuria just a legend, or could its secret still be waiting to be discovered beneath us? Whether Lemuria truly existed or remains a myth, its legacy lives on as a symbol of wisdom, harmony, and spiritual potential. The story of Lemuria, with its highly advanced beings, powerful abilities, and deep connection to the Earth, invites us to imagine a world where people lived in balance with nature and each other. It speaks to an ancient way of life that valued inner knowledge, unity, and respect for the planet. A way of life that we seem to have lost over time. Many spiritual traditions and modern mystics believe that Lemurian wisdom still resonates within humanity. Some claim that traces of this lost knowledge exist in our collective consciousness, shaping our desires for peace, unity, and understanding. Practitioners of what they call Lemurian consciousness suggests that this mindset involves embracing love, compassion, and a strong bond with nature. They believe that by tuning into this energy, we can reconnect with the peaceful way of life Lemuria represented. Could it be that, even if Lemuria physically vanished, its teachings left an imprint on human evolution? In recent times, people have turned to meditation, energy healing, and environmental conservation 
movements that seem to echo Lemurian ideals. These practices often focus on aligning with Earth's natural rhythms, tapping into energies around us, and promoting harmony. There are those who say this global shift towards mindfulness and sustainability may be a sign that Lemurian wisdom is returning, helping us rediscover a more balanced approach to life. Some even feel that the rise of interest in ancient mysteries and spiritual growth reflects our deeper connection to the lost world of Lemuria. The Lemurian legacy also challenges our understanding of human potential. If these beings truly possess telepathy, levitation, and other advanced abilities, what does that mean for us? Are these abilities hidden within us, waiting to be reawakened? Or are they only possible for beings from other realms? Some believe that Lemuria's downfall serves as a cautionary tale, reminding us of what happens when power and wisdom fall out of balance. Perhaps we're meant to learn from their mistakes and use our growing knowledge responsibly in harmony with the world around us. There's also a belief among some spiritual circles that Lemurian souls continue to reincarnate, bringing their ancient wisdom into the modern world. These individuals, sometimes called old souls or star seeds, are thought to carry memories of Lemuria within them, guiding humanity back to a more enlightened path. If true, these souls may be helping us remember forgotten teachings about unity, compassion, and respect for all life. The story of Lemuria, whether historical or mythical, invites us to reflect on what it means to live meaningfully and sustainably. Its lessons push us to question our current ways of life, our priorities, and our goals as a society. Could we learn something from the Lemurians about respecting nature, exploring our inner potential, and creating a world built on harmony rather than conquest? In the end, Lemuria stands as more than a lost civilization. It symbolizes a vision of humanity at its best, a reminder of a way of life that nurtured peace, knowledge, and cosmic awareness. Whether or not Lemuria ever existed physically, the legacy it represents challenges us to seek a deeper connection to ourselves, each other, and our planet. What if the true purpose of Lemuria's story is to inspire us to build a world rooted in compassion, understanding, and unity? Could this be the hidden message that still calls to us from the depths of time?